Hey, hey, YouTube, how's it going? Today, we're gonna make a desk. Not because I need one, but because there's some reclaimed wood that has to be used. I live uh, in a neighborhood and they're doing a lot of construction around here. In the dumpster, they threw away a bunch of, uh, bunch of two by fours that they ripped down. They just needed the edges for some reason and they threw away the rest. So I said, hey, you know what? That would make a great table. Uh, so today, we're gonna learn how to make a DIY desk made from reclaimed, thrown away wood. Y'all ready to get started? Here we go. All right, step number one, you're gonna need a design and I've got mine right there. Okay, so here's a close up view of my design. No architecture degree needed here. Uh, to the left, this is my daughter's drawing. I actually borrowed her book. So let's focus here on the right. Uh, front, so it's gonna be 30 inches tall. Every table and desk that I've measured, they're all roughly around 30, so let's keep it simple. That's the top view. And then this is uh, how I'm gonna glue all the different boards together and it will be 20 inches by 52 inches wide. There's a lot of different shapes and sizes you can go with. I'm going for the more uh, writer's editorial desk, so it's really uh, simple and compact. Right, I've got all my pieces cut here. They're all cut to 56 inches. That's with four inches of excess. They are all highly uneven, uh, but I plan on sanding this down and focusing on the top. I'm not too worried about the bottom. So uh, I actually have a dining room table and it has a really cool texture just like this. And, uh, and it's all uneven and it's still kind of cool. So. All right, so I'm just gonna take each one of these and flip them over on top of these rails here. Next up, I took all of those boards, I glued them together. So I used the clamp, I put screws in it along the way a little bit. Uh, all this is getting cut off. Remember, I, I had two extra inches here, so we're gonna cut all the ends off. But I screwed them onto this board below, and then uh, went to the center, clamp that, and then finally the other end, put the clamp on there, put some screws in there, and that way I could just move the clamp around a little bit. So this side, extra rough, but let's lift this up and take a look at this side. So this side is a lot smoother. Uh, if you had a planer, that's epic, but here we're gonna be using a sander. And here it is with all of the stabilizer boards removed. Now you can see that all of the boards that were facing those stabilizer boards are smoother. so we're continuing to plane the bottom side now got the top looking really good and sanded but now uh we're having fun with this hand planer so we decided to start doing the bottom and uh we're gonna see how how smooth we can get the bottom it's actually fun it's like a nice little exercise it's enjoyable the wood smells amazing yes, it's, it's pine and all out here we got wood shavings everywhere but all out here it just it smells like a christmas tree out here it's really cool no it kind of smells like a like 10 Christmas trees. <laughs>
Yeah, so as I'm working on this project, you know, there's so many tools I wish I had. I'm gonna preface this with, I'm not using a lot of tools here. These are some, you know, basic ones that I feel a lot of people would have. I don't have a table saw, right? And as I go, so I'm trying to be creative constantly on how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do that? Because I don't have a table saw. Guaranteed, if you have one of those, awesome. You're gonna do a way better job. Uh, I'm just gonna put the title on mine, Rustic Desk. Right. Now I'm working on the legs. And the plan for that is I am going to drill square holes in the top, in the tabletop. And, and notch them in so the table legs will just go in. But how would you do this? If you had a table saw, you could easily just have the blade up a little bit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just use, well, I've already started, but I'm gonna use my skill saw and it's at a certain depth and I'm gonna try to smooth it out is the point. Right now, I started, but it's really rough. We're gonna clean it up to where it's a little bit better. Okay, so now the plan, uh, I marked out that line right there, four inches from the edge. And so this is gonna go right here. And with that, I just drew another line. So that's the hole I'm gonna cut out. Wish me luck cutting the hole out. All right, so I did this first hole here and it kind of nicked it up a little bit. Jed, I don't know if you can get it in close here. Um, going from the other side. This time, I'm gonna go from the top because I think it did way better from the top. So I'm just lining that up. This is number two. I've marked number two here. So, all right. And that is the final hole. It's not epic. It's not the best one ever, but hopefully that'll work. And this is what comes out of there. That's what's left over. It's completely oddly shaped after you're moving around in a circle. And then kind of scuffed it up a little bit, but got a sander for that. I think that'll do the trick. All right, after making several of these holes, I got one left. And this time I learned to, I don't know, it seems easier to do four holes. Woohoo, all right. I got all the holes done. That's the exciting part. The holes, I think, were probably the hardest part, getting all of them cut. But once you get through that, it is home free. So now, so there it is. Now you can kind of see hole number one, two, Actually, that was my first one. You can see by the little the damage here. Uh, ugh, I'm gonna have to do some epoxy putty. Uh, we're getting real pro now. Anyway, uh, and then the final hole there. So check it out, I've got them all labeled. So definitely do that. Uh, I got a lot of sanding to do now. I'm gonna bevel the corner so it's not so sharp. Uh, kind of like this. It's not router, you know, but again, y'all, I don't even have a router. So <laughs> we're getting it done with the minimal. Okay, sweet. Yeah, this thing, uh, let's take a look, step back here and see what it looks like. So it's gonna look like that. And I guess I should demo one of these things here, right? So let's take a one here. And my numbers are on the underneath. So that's three, that's four. Okay, so let me grab three. So here we go. Grabbing three. Hope y'all are not getting dizzy by my one-handed filming. So that just goes in there and look at that. Go all the way in. Again, I'm one-handed here. There we go, see? So once I glue these in, then I'm gonna sand, and you're gonna see all of this from the top. I don't know, what do y'all think? What do you think? I think next, uh, I need to figure out, like, the finish of this. Oh man, I need a haircut, y'all. 
uh, we're going to do potentially whitewash uh, is one option. And um, I don't know. What do you think? You could go natural. That's the other one. Yeah, so we're going to deliberate over here and, you know, see what kind of ideas we can come up with and just pick one. All right, I'm ready to do the final step of gluing the legs in. We've been spending a lot of time sanding them. They're looking pretty good now, so it's time to glue them in. Yep, so like I said, they're all sanded for the most part. Slightly beveled edge, but uh, that should do the trick. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is just get the glue on there, and then I've got a toothbrush to rub it in. So some of these legs fit really well. Like I'm really happy with this one. Very tight fit. Others, there's a little gap. I oh, just jerked the camera, sorry y'all. Slight gap, and then over here is probably the biggest gap. It's all good. So as I'm doing this, uh, but overall I'm very happy with getting the feet in there. All right, this is what it looks like upside down. It's time to turn it right side up and see it for the first time as a desk. There we go, watch all the legs fall out. <laughs> all right, there we go. So now you can see all the legs poking out. We gotta cut these off, sand them off. One, two, three, and four. All right, now I'm just using this saw here, tree trimmer, to cut off the tops of the legs so it's smooth. All right, it is sanding day. Um, yeah, got all the legs finished up here and cut in and glued. Uh, we're gonna do the full spectrum. I kind of feel it might be a little bit overkill, but why not? Uh, the, the pack I haven't bought, the variety pack had everything in it, so let's do it. 80, we've got a 120, 240, 600, and an 800. Just the old reliable there, the uh, Ryobi sander. So <laughs> All right, I just wrapped up the 240, and wow, I didn't even know there's any reason to continue. Uh, it is incredibly smooth at 240, but all right, well, here goes. We're gonna jump up to 600 and just at least finish the top and the six and the 800. All right, there it is, the 600. Uh, yeah, incredibly smooth and soft. We're gonna go ahead and do the 800. I imagine if you're doing like a butcher block or something, maybe this is awesome. Uh, not necessarily. A needed thing for my rustic desk but all good we'll uh we'll do the final and then we're gonna get to painting all right it's time to paint um going with a white it's a rust-oleum flat white uh it is oil based i like oil better it, it soaks in and uh isn't very sticky to the touch and whatnot when you
All right, so I got one coat of paint on it and that's really all I'm gonna do. Uh, and I think the finishing, this is not a finished video. All right, and there's the final paint job. Yeah. All right, while I'm out here working on this table, uh, I just wanted to point out, this is a piece of furniture we got from like a Hobby Lobby a long time ago. My little daughter has had it in her room. The top got pretty grimy. So I decided to go ahead and paint the top white while I was out here. Uh, this was the, the very similar style. I guess they're calling it chalk paint. Um, but they, hang on, let me go from this side, sorry. They're um, putting the paint on there and then they sand it off or wipe it off a little bit. And so that's the rustic feel. This one obviously is very rustic because it truly has been beat up. All right, now we're going to try sanding it a little bit to see what it does. So let's see what you think. All right, so I don't know. I think that's what we're just going to leave it real simple like that, y'all. This is the small table. I just wanted to see what it felt like to sand that, and then now I'll test it out on here. I think that looks good enough. All right, let's try this one. different that just came right off which is not awesome that's not what I wanted I wanted more like this so what's the difference in this one versus this pine I think this pine here was newer so it didn't absorb as much anyway I'm gonna go to some lighter sandpaper I think this one's too heavy Okay, and I believe the final thing for me to do is to install these furniture glides right on the bottom here. All right, I probably could just nail these in, but I'm just gonna pre-drill a very small amount. I prefer no splitting right here at the end. All right, and that's it, y'all. The table is done. Uh, I finally got it sanded down and looking the way I think it looks okay. I understand there's gonna be some opinions here that uh, some people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, don't do this. But at a minimum, you can take the, the stuff that I did and, you know, and, and maybe don't do those steps if it doesn't look good to you. You can certainly go natural on there. You could try some other finishes. There's a whole host of different variety of things that you can do. By the way, y'all, I got my hair cut. What do y'all think? I like it shorter. Uh, especially in the summertime it's cooler all right so here's a close-up of the final so i did sand those pieces down and uh, like i said you know you may or may not like it and that's okay uh everybody's got a little different flair here and uh here's how this little one turned out on top too um well I should probably close the drawer so it looked like that before and the top was just really dingy i didn't i didn't give you a before but it looks way better um and then also note that the the sanding came out very different in this wood this wood was older you know it's a little bit grayer versus the yellow on this side so you know ah, whatever y'all i'm gonna use it all right, and here's the desk in our small vacation cottage. It's about 1,300 square feet, so that's one of the reasons why I needed the desk to be really small. So this is where I'll be working when we're staying here. And uh, there you go, here's all the, the rustic marks and things that are on the table. Um, but still, I think it looks pretty clean and I like it. It's nice and simple. 
as always everybody thank you so much for watching if you like watching these kind of videos like and subscribe we'll have more coming i'm always working on a, on projects in fact just a little sneak peek of what's coming in soon we have this back porch we're going to do a sunroom on the back and i'm going to use that as my office uh so stay tuned and we'll see you next time everybody bye all mm -hmm.